That is the banner we have to raise up. Do you remember in Mark chapter 10, verse 17, a young rich man comes to Jesus, bows down to his feet and says, Good Lord, oh my slave. Are we together? Oh my celebrity. Do you remember the words of Jesus to this young man? You remember the words? He said, do not call me good. Are you listening to me? And we are students of Jesus Christ. Meaning, we should also, you remember Ephesians tells us that he took up the, I mean Philippians, he took up the form of a servant. If we are going to be Levites, we don't serve God for gain. Are we together? But we know that when we serve God purely and sincerely, for sure, he cannot fail to reward us because it says a laborer deserves his wages. But these wages, we don't demand them. Are you getting me? You don't walk and say, God, pay me. I've been serving you. Are we together? Because it's not a, it's not, um, a job that you're going to be paid for what you have done. That you have, because a job, you have a specific amount of money. You have agreed that you are working for a million, for 500,000, for two, for 10, for 20 million. You agree even in your contract. But in ministry, there is no agreement. It is just according to God to bless you with 1,000, with the two, with a million. It's up to God. It's a voluntary service. We do not serve God with a specific sum of money. Are you together? That is why it is different with a job. Ministry is different from a job. Are we together? So if we had an attitude and you were here, you're watching me and you had an attitude that you're serving God to gain. So which sum of money do you want to gain from God? Are you together with me? me like me right now, the money I gained, if I, was, uh, if I was just working, being employed, maybe I would get less. But now because I serve my God, Actually, even my earning is more than what I earn because God gives to them who serve Him even in a way He desires. Sometimes even above your expectation. Sometimes even above what you deserve. Are you getting me? Are we together? So our service to God is not a way of earning money. Are you listening to me, Christine and Margaret? We don't earn money. We serve God as an appreciation for what he has done for us. Let's go back to our fathers. How much money was Jesus getting? Maria. How much money was Jesus getting? Eh? What salary was Jesus getting? Because he was not working for, less, for a salary. Are you together with me? So it's not mentioned because it's not a salary. How much was Jeremiah getting? You tell me, how much was Abraham getting? It's not recorded because they were not working for money. But actually some of those people, not all, but some of those people got so blessed like Abraham beyond his expectation. Many of our pastors who serve God sincerely, they also get beyond their expectation. Just as like the, like the Levites in the Bible. Sometime, not today, you remind me when we come next Friday. Please write, write it down and you remind me. I will show you that the Levites at some point, they could give a lot of wealth back to the people. I read one time and I saw that why, just a, a few people gave 500 bulls. Other people said, 5,000 bulls. They were wealthy. Go to the house. Do you know what they call 500 cows? When you own 500 cows, you own 500 cows. Are you together with me? Onla matagega suje soro ku ente bitan. Bitan of yoka. Never the bariba wanga you in thousands. They used to give in thousands. Are we together? So dear friends, I want to remind you according to Matthew chapter 10 verse 8 that you are freely given, freely give. And I want to discourage every pastor. I don't care whether he's my spiritual father or what because I've read the Bible myself and I know the Bible doesn't allow us to let people pay. 
for consultation, for being paid, for being, I mean, counseled. You need counseling and they pay you. So if you're watching me, even if you're my spiritual pastor, I'm speaking what the Bible says. It's wrong for you to charge people money when they come for counseling because the Bible does not allow that. We are not on a job that we are paid according to what we serve. It is God who pays us according to how he desires. Amen. And I want to speak to you because we are coming on TV. If I ever begin here to tell you that we are, you are coming for counseling, bring this amount of money, you know I will be off track. Either you remind me. Praise the name of the Lord. Because it is wrong to ask money from people who have come for counseling. Most of the people who come to us are vulnerable. Are you together with me? I've reminded you sometime I went to a lady pastor, one of the famous pastors here, and they told me when I have never even seen 50,000 as my salary. Even my dad has never given me anything more than that. I have ulcers, I have hernia, I'm sick. I need the woman of God to touch me just like she touches others so I can be healed. And they told me when I reached that the woman of God... I kneel down on my feet and then get a hundred thousand in the envelope and I give up. I walked, I cannot afford 300 shillings because transport was 300 shillings. Are you listening to me? I cannot afford 300 shillings to go. I walked there and for you, you are telling me that I should look for a hundred thousand I put in an envelope and I give to, I kneel down and I give to the woman of God. That is manipulation. Your manipulation, your chuli dem kwan. That is non biblical. Era na abachikora ngonda ba pastor gwe ori ofu ori ku business. I don't care. I know that I'm making enemies. Many of my pastors are seeing me, but I've read the Bible. I know the Bible is against that. It's non biblical. Era na mu abagenda mu basumba nga baba jiko sente baba counseling. Muri du mudi jango kupashua zovere ni church owang oyambiwe osome chigambo. Come and study the word. Instead of doing witchcraft in the church. Because witches are the ones that are being paid. Doctors. Are you a doctor? With God we serve freely. Freely given. Freely do what? Give. So even you laughing and looking at me. When you are serving and you are expecting 100,000. You are not qualified to be a Levite. Because Levites were not paid a specific amount of money. They were earning according to God's provision. They were voluntary workers. But amazingly, when we serve God in sincerely from the heart and according to His will, He pays us even better than what we deserve. Are you listening to me? So don't be tempted. For me, I've not been paid by anyone and nobody pays me. But God pays me and I really get some good money every month. And there are times when that money doesn't come. I don't complain because I am not at job to anyone. So maybe because the Bible says a laborer deserves his wages, maybe that time I've not served well. Maybe I don't deserve the wage. Are you together with me? So Levites used to do different duties, but what? But what? Free. That is our topic today. They used to do different duties, but what? Free. Yes. You are not obligated. When you get this amount of money, praise the Lord. Thank God for everything He gives you. Are we together? Because our service to God is a source of appreciation for what He has already done for us. For the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross. For the life He gives us. So we owe God Diligence is what in Luganda? Ngorimu nyiki vumu murimu go. Yes. You are diligent in your work. God will reward you. Are you together with me? Can you tell that neighbor of yours, God will reward you if you're diligent. Remember the scripture we read that a laborer deserves what? His wages. Your pastor may not pay you what is worth. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to remind you this. I came from Miracle Center Cathedral. But of course, before joining, I was in uh, United Pentecostal Church in Kisoro. Then I came to the city, I joined there. Then later after, I was ministering with Full Gospel Church. 
with full gospel church, well, sometimes when after mission, they will try to motivate some people. But then I served at Restoration Church for many years, Miracle Center for many years. I am the person, even people watching me on camera, you go and ask the early Miracle Teens who began the Miracle Teens. Go and ask Jackie, Patricia, Saul, and those we began the Miracle Teens with. But I can tell you, I am not complaining. I was never even given 1,000 shillings by Pastor Robert Kayanja. For my transportation, for everything I did for God, even singing in the worship team. But check where I am. Even God lifted me on a higher level, better than even some of those that are being paid a certain salary. Are you together with me? So I am not working for salary when I'm serving my God. I am serving because I am appreciating my God for what he has done for me. And if he appreciates my services, then he will reward me. I want to stop there. We have preached quite a lot. Amen. I think we will continue from there. Today, I just wanted to give you an introduction that Levi's had the duties of serving in the tabernacle. We didn't read much. But when they served, they were given rewards from God. And freely, not as a demand, not even specific. Are you together with me? But they always had enough. You remember Malachi chapter 3? Bring your tithes and, and, and offerings in the storehouses of God that they will, there will always be food in my house. So God makes sure you have food. Amen? If you are diligent. That is why we already talked about that. You must give your tithes because it, the, uh, these tithes take care of the Levites, the full-time ministers. You can go to our early preachings. You will realize that we have already talked about all of these things. So we want to stop here. Amen. We will begin from verse 2 because of time. And then we will dig deeper about the Levitical services. May God bless you. Today our major topic is the duties of the Levites. But also the subtopics is we serve God freely. We don't serve God expecting gains. He's, when He appreciates, He rewards us. May God bless you. Thanks for coming. Let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray that we do not have the attitude of the world. The Bible says the love of the world is a root of all evil. We are not saying that we don't love wealth. We are not saying that we don't want things. But Lord, we know that you who we serve, after you appreciate us, you will reward us. We don't want to walk like other people, like other pastors we see on TV trying to rob people, saying that this and this, so this is it, so that is it, give this amount of money, go for counseling, give this, give that, because it's non biblical. Even if the Bible says you should not go to God empty handed, but it does not give a certain amount of money that we should give. Yes, we can give to our pastors in order to survive and to educate their children and all the ministers to be able to live. But we are not supposed to charge certain up fees because it's non-biblical. So keep us safe and bring us many people so we study the word of God together. Thank you for that brother and sister who is watching me. Bless them and let them know the truth. And the truth sets them free. We welcome you at Pashuas of Heaven Church. Kabling wa hilltop in Nansana. And I am your servant, Shaka. Welcome in our night prayers. They don't go till morning. They go till 11 uh, every Friday. And every Wednesday, we have our all-day altar from 10 to uh, 6. And then Tuesday, like I said, we have a WhatsApp group. You can send in your number at 12, uh, 12 noon. We study the word. May God bless you.